Madam Speaker, Vice President Biden, Senator Harris, and to all of our leaders who are gathered today, thank you. Psalms 118, verse 5. Min hametzar karatia anani vamechaya. Min hametzar karatia. Anani vamechavia tirai ay ay tirai ay ay tirai ay ay yarai narai. From the narrow straits, I call out to you. You, God, answered me with expanse. In the chambers of Justice Ginsburg hangs a framed piece of art that reads, Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdof. Justice, justice, you must pursue. A command in the 16th chapter of Deuteronomy. The rabbinic tradition assigns meaning to every single word in the Torah. So there must be a reason why tzedek, justice, is written twice. The repetition here teaches Ibn Ezra, a medieval rabbi, that time and time again, all of the days of your life, you must pursue justice. This was how Justice Ginsburg lived her life. Justice did not arrive like a lightning bolt, but rather through dogged persistence. All the days of her life, real change, she said, enduring change, happens one step at a time. She faced many obstacles in her life, even from a young age. Though chosen as the valedictorian of her high school class, she gave no graduation speech. Instead, she grieved at home with her father after burying her beloved mother one day before graduation. Her family had already suffered terrible loss with the death of her sister when Justice Ginsburg was only 14 months old. But Justice Ginsburg kept rising. A full scholarship to Cornell University and only one of nine women in her Harvard Law School class. After transferring to Columbia Law School, she graduated first in her class, yet she could not find a job. No firm in New York would hire her because she was a woman. These obstacles didn't deter her. She pressed on. As she said in an interview with her dear friend, Nina Totenberg, and I quote, I get out of law school with top grades. No law firm in the city of New York will hire me. I end up teaching. That gave me time to devote to the movement of evening out the rights, <clears throat> excuse me, of women and men. I was nominated to a vacancy on the D.C. Circuit. Justice O'Connor once said to me, suppose we had come of age in a time when women lawyers were welcome at the bar. You know what? Today we would have been retired partners from some large law firm. But because the route was not open to us, we had to find another way and both end up on the United States Supreme Court. 
All the days of her life, she pursued justice, even in illness. She fought five bouts with cancer, and she supported her beloved Marty through his battle with cancer as well. Each time, she pressed forward. She returned to work, to the bench, to the court, with focus, each and every time. Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdof. Nothing was given. Pursuing justice took resilience, persistence, a commitment to never stop. As a lawyer, she won equality for women and men, not in one swift victory, but brick by brick, case by case, through meticulous, careful lawyering. She changed the course of American law. And even when her views did not prevail, she still fought. In recent years, Justice Ginsburg became famous for her dissents. Despair was not an option. She said, and I quote, dissents speak to a future age it's not simply to say, my colleagues are wrong and I would do it this way. But the greatest dissents do become court opinions and gradually, over time, their views become the dominant view. So that the dissenters hope that they are writing not for today, but for tomorrow. Justice Ginsburg's dissents were not cries of defeat, they were blueprint, blueprints for the future. Justice Ginsburg loved her family, her grandchildren, her dear friends, her colleagues, and her court family. We all send our love to you. And Justice Ginsburg also loved the court to which she so devoted her life. A court for all of us. It was Justice Ginsburg's tenacious hope to preserve the integrity of the court. Today, she makes history again as the first woman and the first Jewish woman to lie in state. Today we stand in sorrow, and tomorrow we, the people, must carry on Justice Ginsburg's legacy. Even as our hearts are breaking, we must rise with her strength and move forward. She was our prophet, our North Star, our strength for so very long. Now she must be permitted to rest after toiling so hard for every single one of us. May the memory of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Yita Rucho Batsiro Lea, forever and ever be a blessing. Zichrona Livracha. God, give us the strength and bless us with the courage, the intelligence, the bravery and the unbreakable resolve to pursue justice. Amen.